Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you again for coming back to a new episode of the Money Flow Show with Vegas and Joe. We're so glad to have you here. We know it's Super Bowl tonight, so we'll be quick with the video. So Tesla was our pick of the week last week. You could see here Tesla's done a great, great action here. And I really want to turn it over to Josie to walk us through what happened with Tesla last week because she was telling us to watch for this $200 break. So Josie, why don't you take us through what happened last week? And we can talk about what we still see on this chart. Yeah, so Vegas, uh, Tesla did trigger. It triggered on Wednesday, February 8th. And once it triggered over the $200, I decided to get into some calls. So I got into the 220 calls that were expiring on February 17th. And I kind of bounced around a little bit on Wednesday, but then it it gapped up. It gapped up. It went to uh, 214. And mm. those tar the targets that I mentioned at our last show, um, 205, 210, 215, and 220, most of those targets were met. So um, very nice gains. I made 93% gains on this trade. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, Vegas, I still like this chart. I'm, I'm still bullish on it. It looks good. And um, I'm going to still watch it into the into this week. And you know what, Justine, I'm looking at this chart too. I mean, you know, Tesla did have a little pullback, but, you know, sometimes, you know, there ha people have to take profits. I mean, that's very good money. Um, I still think that uh, I agree with you. Let's definitely keep this one on watch. I think if we can break $200 again, uh, Tesla has a chance here. I mean, I like the way it closed on Friday. Um, but if it can get back over 200 this week, a trade should be in play again on a swing trade to go long on Tesla, stop loss under 190 for swing traders. And we're still looking, I think, for 210, 215, and 220. So let's see what Tesla can do this week. Keep it on your watch. Do not take your eyes off a of runner like this you must watch it and you know what else you people should be watching you should also be watching the fact that if you look at the volume on thursday friday i mean this is huge volume 215 204 uh very good volume so we could see some action here we have cpi data coming also on tuesday so if the market is actually quite happy with cpi data you could be watching tesla for a move to the upside so now let's talk to our new pick of the week oh my god what are we going to talk about? We're going to pick this week. Our pick is Starbucks. Now, I got to say, I have not had a latte there in a long time because I have this new machine that I love. And uh, But I do say I do love the lattes here. I love the Grande Caramel Macchiato. What's your favorite, Josie? I love the Caramel Brulee Latte. And also like the Caramel oh. Macchiato too. That's very good as well. Yeah. So let's take a look here at what's going on with Starbucks too because they had an earnings uh, report uh, earnings is really good. I mean, look at this. Um, the Q1 net revenues up 8%. Reward memberships up 15%. Card reloads. I can't believe this. People are like loading those cards, those uh, Starbucks cards. Um, I guess, you know, when they go and you get, you can collect all the stars. Um, you can get, you know, 3.3 billion and reaffirming their guidance for 2023. I just cannot believe here also that Starbucks opened up um, 459 stores in Q1. Meanwhile, so many other companies are closing down and Starbucks is opening stores. I mean, that is just crazy, crazy. And here's the best part too. They reaffirmed 2023 full year guidance. So let's take a look here at the Starbucks chart. And then I want you to give us, uh, I'm going to show you some money flow as well, but I want to show you guys this chart on Starbucks. You could see here, uh, this here is just Viper Algo's levels. I'm test piloting Viper Algo. So I'll let you guys give you guys some feedback very soon on how my experience is going. I'm really not using it for any live trades right now. I did use it last week on Tesla uh, on Friday and the trade failed. So I have to definitely still experiment with the Viper Algo and see how it's working for me. Um, so that's why you're seeing this uh, levels here. So that's just their um, dashboard. So uh, Starbucks here, you can see here, it's it's definitely looking beautiful. I love that it's above the cloud. Um, so Josie, what kind of what can we be looking for on Starbucks? Because I would have an I do have an active swing trade, full disclosure, on the 120 calls for March 17. I have a challenge account I'm doing. And so I'm actively in Starbucks. Those contracts close around 25 cents. So I haven't really made a lot of money right now. I think I paid around 19 or 20 cents each. So can you tell us what to look for on Starbucks and what would be the stop loss? 
So for uh, Starbucks, I see um, once it breaks 108, it will be mm -hmm. bullish. So that is the trigger. Okay. And the targets that I have here for Starbucks, Starbucks is 109, 110, 112, and 115. It will be bearish if it goes below 105. Okay, so that would be like someone's stop loss if it got yes, under 105. Loss, we can definitely close the trade. Yeah, stop loss 105 and close that trade. Wow, that looks like a really cool move actually once it breaks 110, like straight to 112. And another big move if it breaks 112 right to 115. So that's really, really interesting. I like that. Mm -hmm. So definitely going to be looking at Starbucks for a swing trade this week. That is going to be our pick of the week. Um, definitely keep your eyes peeled on Starbucks. You could see here. Uh, they obviously had great earnings, great revenue, great growth. And so definitely should be on your watch list this week for Starbucks. So we'll be following up and seeing how this trade plays out next week. But that is going to be your pick of the week. Do not take a weekly trade. These targets are very aggressive that Josie's mapped out. Uh, I also want to show you guys the um, uh, money flow here on, on Starbucks, courtesy of Cheddar Flow. And you could see here that Starbucks here. This is a, this is the options chain. So you could see here there's flow here on Starbucks, and these are you know anything that came in on Friday. You, look at these March 17s. Look at that um, expiry date March 17, and they're buying 105s. Okay, uh, some weekly ones for 110. Obviously some puts in here, but uh, looks like they like in the 105 spot. So it looks like they want to go in the money on these contracts, and you could see here on the dark pool angle. Okay, this one, this print really intrigued me. This one here on um, February 3rd, Starbucks, 1.8 million shares, $194.8 million. Now, that's remember, awesome. we never know if it's a buy or sell. So I think that's why we need to see a break over 108 for a move to the upside to really know if this is a buying of stock or is dumping. So looks to me that this could potentially be a move to the upside, there's more dark pool prints. I mean, they're all like smaller size, but my gosh, that one stood out. So, I mean, I don't know what kind of lattes this guy's getting. Maybe he's buying a couple corporate stores. Um, <laughs> I mean, look at this one too. Like uh, this was before the earnings though, this one here. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ignore that one, but I'm just gonna look at the the new one that I would just showed you guys. Uh, that was a really good one here, 1.8 million. So let's just wait and see if we can break 108. So definitely keeping Starbucks on watch. Um, definitely will take uh, an, some more contracts. If it breaks 108, we'll add or create a new position on March 17 expiry because you have to remember, you have to, to give these contracts time to get the move. If you take a weekly, you know, it may not get to, it's not going to go. I can, I don't think it would go to 115 in one week, but heck, you know what? I've seen crazy things happen. So who knows? Uh, but definitely if you take Starbucks contracts for calls, long over 108 stop under 105 and your expiry date is recommending march 17 so that you have time to let this trade go uh i actively have 120 calls you could consider 105s 110 115s 120. so that's our show for today if you want to join us in our chat room uh you're welcome to come join uh, you can follow me on twitter at at i love stocks one you can come join our platinum plan which is our in our live room chatting all day, commentary all day, news feed scanners, swing trades, investment trades, long-term option trades, or if you like swing trading, have Vegas swing special, or if you like just, just alerts on day trades only, uh, you're only going to get a three, four day on Vegas 2.0. It's more of a basic plan, which gives you kind of a taste of what you can get in Vegas platinum. So we hope to see you again. Thank you for coming. And Josie, any last comments with regards to your thoughts on the market this week? What do you think is going to happen after CPI data? I think the market's going to want to make a move or what, what are your thoughts? Bullish, bullish. Mar, we're going to the moon. <laughs> well, I don't know about going to the moon, Josie. Calm down, calm down. So listen, guys, don't listen to Josie with going to the moon, okay? The market we want to see, we want to see the uptrend continue. Uh, we want to see the bullish continuation going. So the market to me is still in an uptrend. I saw it on Investors Business Daily. They said market's still in an uptrend. I think the market's been an uptrend actually since January. 17 or 19 I was talking to another trader that I know and uh, we've kind of uh, shared the same sentiment so be interesting to see what the market does thank you Tesla thank you Elon Musk for making a great product that people are buying um, I just want to know one thing which I'd love him to answer one day why does your interior of your car suck the interior <laughs> sucks 
it's not as nice as other cars for the price you charge. Uh, but anyways, going back to Starbucks, that is our pick of the week. I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys can bank on it. And we look forward to talking to you guys next week. Bye for guys, now. And that way, and guys, don't forget to hit that like bucket button and subscribe and hit that notification button to um, get great content.